Um, we, um, for, a, for a long time, we've had this stand your ground, um, and, sta and stand your ground law set the stage, and that's how, and that's how fascism crept in. Now, the stand your ground thing is just a fucking joke, just like the Electoral College, but people use the stand your ground law to kill people, and then they, and then w when they murder people, they say, oh, stand your ground, when it didn't apply in this particular situation. Now, who killed Jordan Muley? Now, of course, everyone knows he was killed by the chokehold applied by an ex-Marine who throttled him on a New York subway train, and it's on video. The real question is, what killed Muley? And we can answer that. Stand, the Stand Your Ground Law killed Jordan Muley. The Stand Your Ground principle as written into law means if you're doing something I don't like, I get to kill you, which, you know, that's, um, and this, this is a thing that people have tried, have used on multiple occasions. Now, if you're trying to understand why the man in Texas killed his neighbors when they asked him to stop shooting his gun in his yard um, near midnight so that their child could sleep, the answer is stand your ground. If you, if you want to understand why the man shot the black child who came to the wrong house to pick up his young siblings, the answer, stand your ground. The girl who was killed, who was, um, the girl who pulled into a driveway to turn around and the girl who approached, and the girls who approached the wrong car, the child is basketball rolled into the wrong yard, stand your ground. The Florida school district, um, that banned the book on segregation, Stand Your Ground, I don't like it, so I, so I get to kill it. Now this, is, now this is Stand Your Ground culture, and Stand Your Ground is stupid in its best days. And most days it's wicked as fuck. Now get off my, get off, get off my lawn as infantile, but at least it's based in reality. It is, after all, your lawn, and you get to say who, uh, and you get to say who, and you have your say on who gets to stand on it, even if you're kind of a dick about it. And once the offending party gets off your lawn, tempers cool down. But what if you decide the whole world is your lawn? Like Hitler did, like Stalin did, like Mussolini did, and like George Zimmerman did. So let's go back to the out outset here. Um, a kid with a hoodie was walking through your neighborhood. The 911, the 911 operator tells you to leave him the fuck alone, and you can chase him down and start a fight, and the minute he fights back, you get to kill him because you felt threatened. That, of course, was Trayvon Martin. But if you think just ignoring the police and chasing someone down to kill him as far as danger ground goes, think back to Cal Murderhouse, who, um, who basically did not stand... Um, who basically put himself in the situation that he was in. Um, basically, um, he claimed to stand your ground law by bringing a gun to a chaotic protest and killing two unarmed people, when naturally, Rittenhouse um, was, was threatening people. That's a lot of ground to stand, but, Ritt but Murderhouse is willing to drive cr across late state lines to stand it. Um, now, for a long time, it's, it was fun to note that the model of conservatives and gun nuts was death before discomfort because they're willing to engage in total political war over anything in any way less than exactly what they wanted. Now, the school library has a book you don't. Now, the school library has a book you don't fucking like. Don't tell your kid not to read it because it's going to make them curious to read it. Demand that the entire school system remove the book from the library. Don't like birth control? It's not enough to use it, but you don't need to make. But you need to make sure that nobody else can use it. Don't like gay marriage? It's not enough to not marry someone gay. And you need to make sure that nobody you don't approve of can get married. Now, Stand Your Ground has been the principle, basically. Um, Stand Your Ground has been the principle of people who want to control other people forever. Um, the rate, the rate stack flag, the, um, the restack fire was Stand Your Ground, was a Stand Your Ground event. A good excuse for the Nazis to feel threatened and do whatever the fuck they wanted to defend themselves. Whether they were actually threatened, of course, is beside the point. But they decided that they felt threatened and they took action that they felt their nervousness justified. Stand Your Ground has been around even longer than that. The Nazis came to the American South to learn how to dehumanize a group that they wanted to oppress because the American South is the champion of Stand Your Ground. It started and for closing in on two centuries has, has defended a Stand Your Ground war. Um, the southern states decided that they were no longer going to play by the rules of the Constitution that they had ratified, so they started firing cannonballs at Fort Sumter, which is a military installation of the United States, and when the United States military had the temerity to fight, fire back to, to stand its ground, the southern states, of course, felt threatened, and to this day, you hear summoners of a certain caste describe the war of northern aggression. Now, we used to say that my right to swing my fist ended at your nose, um, which is true, but understand your ground. Noses have lost their standing, and if your nose makes my fist feel threatened, your nose should have, been, should have known better than to start up, than to start up with my fist. Or at least if your if your nose planned to be standing where I might conceivably swing my fist, well then I, then I got what was coming to it. Now let's take now look back to Charlottesville in 2017. After all, other than a stand your ground rally, we'll choose a place, stage an offensive protest that guarantees a counter protest, and then we'll kill one of the counter protesters because we felt threatened. 
But here's where I'm supposed to suggest a course of action, and regrettably I cannot. Standard Ground makes the standard fascist claim. Everyone agrees except you, and we're all defending ourselves against you. Now, once a group starts making that fucking claim, it's not going to end well for whoever their current, um, whoever their current you turns out to be. Um, they decided all the, they decided that all the ground deserves, which it isn't, and the rest of us standing anywhere, anywhere else, makes them feel threatened. And since all the ground deserves, um, there's no way to get out of it. Um, and since they feel threatened, we know what's coming. I, I suggest we prepare to stand our ground. Now, um, yeah, like I said, but even though stand your ground's a fucking joke. Now, if you like the video, you can get the video, like, and subscribe to my channel, REW King. You can also um, hit the notification bell so that you've been over when a new video comes out. You can also go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what you think. And if you want to support my work even further, you can donate to my Patreon link, which you can find in the about section of YouTube. And for just a little, a few bucks a video or a month, your donation can help go a long way. And thanks for listening.